Okay, guys, I think I need to apologize for once again going about a week without uploading an episode. But hey, this month, July, new month, new May, okay? We're gonna try and upload a video every other day on the second channel, okay? I'm gonna give it a go. Let's see if we can pull this off. Anyways, 83 rated with Sidinho. And today's episode's a big one because we're gonna wrap up the Champions League group stages. Oh, where's the group stage table? I just want to take a look and show you guys what's up. It's very close between us and Spurs. We're going to play this final game, hopefully get that top spot. And we'll also have the draw for the round of 16. So should be a ton of fun. In other news, guys, I know the blonde Cidinho is a bit controversial, but I kind of dig it, at least for now. So we're going to keep it as is. Now, if you guys are enjoying the journey of Cidinho this season, we might actually see him win trophies. I'm not too sure about the Bundesliga. Let's take a look, guys. I'm pretty sure we should be in the... Oh. Yeah, completely forgot how bad we are in the Bundesliga. But hey, at least in the Champions League, we're looking fairly decent. And yeah, if you're enjoying this series, keep the support coming in by dropping a like in the video. Subscribe if you are new around here. As I said, I'm going to try and upload a lot more on this channel in July. Let's hope I'll stick to that. Here we go. Game one, once again, being deployed on that right side. Oh, Spurs have signed Buendia, Varane and Upamecano. Of course, a bit of beef with Varane since he left us to join Spurs. We'll settle it on the pitch. Here we go. That man, Erling Haaland. Let's hope he can deliver tonight. Come on. Champions League group stage decider. Finishing first could be what determines how far we go in the Champions League. By the way, I think this is the first time Cedinho is playing in the Champions League. So playing in the knockouts is going to be special. So let's hope we can go as deep as possible for that. Let's get a result against Spurs. If I remember correctly, last episode, we did score some absolute screamers with Cedinho. In fact, in his Dortmund career, some of the goals he's been scoring have been tremendous. You know, let's hope we can, you know, maybe try and top it in this one. Also, I know a lot of you guys are wondering, why am I not streaming? I feel like I'm just... We're at the end of FIFA 21 cycle. I'm not feeling like streaming FIFA 21 all that much. So for now, I'm just going to take a break from streaming. Maybe until FIFA 22. And we'll go ham when the new game comes out. Until then, I'll keep uploading the CD Neo series because I know you guys enjoy watching it. So I'll just record them myself and have them uploaded for you guys as we might be able to score the first of the night. Cedinho and Haaland, the dream combination. Look at that for a celebration with the fans. They just cut out the celebration, man. Come on now. But look at that for a pass from Haaland. Superb. Bang. That's one of the finishing uh, techniques I've been using a lot. The cross body on that right side. It's been very effective. I don't know why Cedinho's body moves like that. Like, why is he hunching while shooting? I have no idea. But 1-0 up against Spurs. That puts us in a good spot to, of course, make it first in this group. Haaland once again with Cedinho. Back for Haaland. This time he might go for goal himself. Looks for Mikel Merino. As we do get the ball away. Aspilicueta finds Cidinho. You know what? From distance, I'm just going... Literally got blocked by Wings there. Wow. Oh, we might still get another pop at it. I'm going for it. Off the crossbar. You, you can't write this stuff. Off the crossbar. What an attempt. The curl on that. A bit of Paul Pogba in that attempt. Of course, that unbelievable goal he scored in the Euros, but that, that deserved a goal. Harry Kane goes for goal and actually scores. You give him a little bit of space and he manages to put that in. We could have been 2-0 up in this game. Instead, Spurs take advantage of their chance, get the equaliser, and well, it is 1-1. Fair enough. Sancho. Oh, that's superb. That is honestly superb. I'm going to try and get it back for Sancho. Oh, that is wonderfully worked between Cedinho and Sancho. I know he's on his way out in real life to Manchester United. So let's just enjoy the moments with Sancho. What a freaking finish that was. And also the link-up play. Sancho lobbed it over for Cedinho. I played it back to him, repaid uh, the favour. And of course, we're 2-1 up. We're in England and Sancho is scoring against the home team. Beautiful to see 2-1 up. I see Aspeliqueta making a run. I find him brilliantly. What can he do from here? Looking for that crossing option. I try and make the run, but couldn't really time it perfectly. Hey, that is nice. That's a good ball out wide for Aspeliqueta. I'm really enjoying playing with Aspeliqueta. I'm not going to lie. Even though he's not the quickest of fullbacks anymore, but he's super fun to play with. Hazard. 
Back for Cedinho. That's a good touch. Oh, he takes it off me really, really well. Half time, goal and an assist. I'll take it, man. We need to win this game because I'm desperate for finishing first in the group. Any advantage we can get in the round of 16, we should take it. Some neat dribbling here from Cedinho as he challenges Son. Backwards now for Mikel Merino. It does go back for Cedinho. Yeah, nothing's going to come of that. Harry Kane looking for Lo Celso. Kane gets it. When, when Kane gets it, I'm super tensed. That is why. But our keeper has just made a big, big save. And Emre Can has cleared that one away. Oof, that was, that was a bit of an intense moment. We, I think if we get like a two-all draw or a three-all draw on head-to-head, -head, we should go through. But still, let's not take a chance. Oh, that's a good ball for Kane. Our keeper has once again come forward and made the save. I, I literally don't even know his name. I think it's time. I actually try and figure out what the name of our keeper actually is. Now, how do I even check this? Odysseus Vlakodimos. Vlakodimos, yep. I, I think I'd just call him my keeper instead. Odysseus, what a name to have though. There goes Cedinho now. I see Sancho, but I'm going to go the other way. Back for Haaland. He holds it up well. The strength is unreal from him. Find Cedinho, first time shot gets blocked, but... The idea was that I'm linking up really well with the likes of Haaland and Sancho, which is perfect to see. Hoiberg. Still Hoiberg. Cross in for Kane. Emre Chan again. Immense in that centre-back role. Oh no, Harry Kane has broken through. Harry Kane. Harry freaking Kane. There's no stopping him, guys. 72nd minute of this one. Spurs get the equaliser. We need to push. We need to push for another goal here. Because I'm not entirely sure if we'll finish first with this result. Yo, Spurs actually might go and score another one. Thankfully, not as now. I could drive the ball forward here. I'm looking for that pass for Haaland. What's he done there? He should have just maybe got it into a stride and run forward. Oh, Harry Winks is going to win the game here for Spurs. Our keeper. Um, I forgot his name. Odysseus. Yep, Odysseus with the save. What a name though, Odysseus. There you have it, guys. Full time and um, to all. You know what? In a way, the result not favorable, but Cedinho's performance, the goal and the assist, it was sensational. Yo, we've completed 50 matches now and that's given us a lot of stat boosts. Things you do love to see. From 69, we're moving on to 70 finishing, finally. And yep, indeed, we've managed to top the group. Both the games against Spurs, I think, were draws. But hey, we've done it. We've topped Group D. Can't wait for the draw. I think we're going to sim the next game, but we'll definitely play against Bayer Leverkusen because they're a good team. Let's hope we can pick up a win against Cologne and only a draw. What are we doing, man? In the game, Cedinho doesn't play. This club just fumbles. You know what, guys? I don't want to make you all wait for the Champions League round of 16 draw. Let's freaking do it right now itself. I'm excited, man. And it's Juventus. How have we finished first and drawn Juventus while PSG get Hoffenheim and Atleti get Atlanta? Are you kidding me, man? No way have we drawn Juventus. That is just brutal. Fair enough, I guess. Oh my god. Who did Spurs get? They got Bayern. So in a way, we avoided Bayern at least. Honestly, looking at the Bundesliga table is making me cry. We better start winning a few games. Winning against Leverkusen wouldn't be so bad. Yo, they've actually got a good team. Moise Keane, Leon Bailey, Nijngolen, Hummels. Not too bad. Oh, Diaby breaks through and it's a chance for Leverkusen. Tomiyasu does well. Mazarawi, Halan played back to me. Sirinho bursts through. What a chance this is. Goes for goal, scores. We're in an unbelievable goal scoring form right now in this series because I, I feel like every game or every other game at least we're getting on target. That's what happens when you're playing for a good team. 1-0 up against Bayer Leverkusen. But we can't stop here guys. We need to push for more because you guys know the amount of points we've been dropping is just crazy. So let's hopefully score more in this one. Yet another goal for Cedinho. How many does he have now in the Bundesliga? That is six. This might prove to be a highest scoring season in his career. Haaland again. Slides this one for me. If I can release this one for Erling Haaland. But is he on? I'm not entirely sure. He was onside and he messed it up. No way. Demirbe striking from distance. And tell you what, he wasn't far off. Half time boys and I'm not going to lie. Since we took the lead in this game, it's been a pretty dead affair. I'm still worried at 1-0. So let's hope we can double up our advantage in the second half. Oh my god, that's so stupid. What was my defense doing? I swear these guys are playing against us, man. We, we, Halan, me and Sancho go up top and score the goals. And these guys, I'll oh, just take them back. 
Gifting goals to Leverkusen, man. Look at the replay on this, guys. I'm pissed off for a reason, yeah. What is Aspilicueta doing? Huh, no wonder we're struggling so much in the Bundesliga. They're actually going to score another goal now. I can't believe this, man. Leon Bailey thankfully goes backwards, but they've still got the ball. We win it, but we struggle to even get the ball away. What are they doing, man? Honestly, Leon Bailey now through. Can't sit back. Chance for Moise Keane. Thankfully, it wasn't the best of passes, but they still have an opportunity here. Blocked away by Tomiyasu. We're throwing this game away. We should be winning this. I don't want to swear, chat. I really don't want to swear. I just don't want to swear. But I almost did. How on earth are we letting Ruzilo scoring a header there? How? How, how, how? Somebody please explain that to me. How? Look at that. What is our defense doing? They're non-existent. 2-1 down to Leverkusen. My God. At this point, we might, we might be closer to relegation than to the top of the Bundesliga. What a joke. This single man carry job right now that Cidinho is doing is actually commendable. Finds Haaland. Haaland is... <laughs> what is going on here? Please, somebody explain this to me. No way. Out of all the players, Cidinho has been subbed off. That is a violation. Probably the best player on the pitch. And the coach has decided to sub him off. The coach is a moron, guys. I'm sorry. We're going to sim the rest of the game. Watch them. Okay, at least they get a draw. But I don't know, man. I'm still confused. How did Cidinho get subbed off uh, Takefusa Kubo? Thankfully, at least a point. Smashing through this one. I don't even know the team's name. Kiel, I think. And we actually win a game. What a surprise. We're now heading into the January transfer window. I'm hoping Dortmund reinforce their squad with a few players. I don't, I don't think we're leaving the club. We're going to stay here. But still, I'm just hoping that Dortmund reinforce their team with some decent level players at least. You can't write this stuff. Just before we play Juventus, um, they've actually signed Wissam Ben Yedda. Brilliant. Brilliant. One of the most OP players in this game. And Bayern have sold them to them. It's like Bayern are trying to get us knocked out unbelievable yo all, the window has just opened up and we're seeing crazy transfers carlos de Barca, julian brandt from borussia dortmund has just joined man united for 80 million dortmund better spend this money guys leipzig have so wait sheffield have signed wang he chan brozovic to of course real sociedad Fair enough, some crazy transfers. Okay, so Dortmund have signed a striker, Alfredo Morelos, with a lot of pace. That is fairly decent. Anyone else? Nope, no other signings, man. Come on, Dortmund, please. Just step on the gas, make some signings. Guys, I only just realized Brandt literally did a Sancho in real life for like the same amount of money as well. How funny is that? I'm going to be simming the next couple of games in the Bundesliga. I feel like it's such a hopeless situation in the league right now that might as well just focus on the Champions League. I think then we'll play like the first leg of the round of 16 in this episode. Yep, look at that. We took an L to Wolfsburg. And look at that, a bit more training. Cedinho now 84 rated. No other signings Dortmund made apart from like that one striker i'm disappointed oh man that juventus game is gonna be scary honestly good to win against leverkusen and hopefully against cologne as well nope of course we have to take an l but big big night against juve away in the champions league our first experience of knockout champions league football no sancho why has our coach gone for such a weak team where's sancho Where's our CDM? What is he doing, man? No Emre Chan as well. I am in disbelief. And they're starting Dybala, Isaac, Arthur, Bernard and all. Well, Bernard's average. Delicto. That's a weird call. Anyway, Cedinho carry job needed in the Champions League as well. How big is this, guys? Champions League round of 16. For the first time in this series, we're playing such a high-profile game. And if Cedinho can step up... That'll be huge. Chance for Alexander Isaac as he passes it back for Facundo Pelestri, the former Man United player now playing his trade at Juve. Juventus have been very measured in this game so far. In fact, both teams are. It's been a very, very safe game. No one taking any risks. Oh, chance on the breakaway and it's looking very decent. Cedinho has got the pace. I could put this one back in. No, that was such a bad delivery. Halan was free and so were maybe a couple others. That was awful from Cedinho. Had to be doing better there. Oh, Cedinho does so well there. And I could cross this one for Haaland. No way. Why does crossing not work this year, man? Cedinho gets it again, though. There's the pace. Looks to bring it inside, but can't. That's solid defending. Good ball for Take. 
Now it's Aspeliqueta. Is he going to go for the cutback? That was awful. Just played to me, dude, there. I would have probably went for the finesse shot and maybe, who knows, scored. Instead, we've been left completely exposed down the uh, left flank. Bernard, get it away, guys. Ah, good defending. Cidinho now looks for Bafunta. Isn't he our centre-back? What's he doing there? Cidinho looks for Jude Bellingham. Can he put it back in for him? He can. First touch to control it and then the finish in a Champions League knockout game. Cidinho has scored. We're running straight down to the camera. Borussia Dortmund 1, Juventus 0. Big, big moment in his career, guys. Oh my god. Against Juventus in the Champions League round of 16. That is a special moment. Look at that first touch there. The defender, I don't know how their defender didn't clear it away, but Cidinho controlled that beautifully and then placed it home as we get the lead and the away goal. The away goal rule still exists in this save, so let's go. Half time. I, I actually can't believe we're in the lead here, but we are. We've been better, I feel, and the fact that Cidinho is the one to score, it makes it a bit special. This season, as I said, every game we're hitting the back of the net. Oh, come on. No, I'm offside. Don't play me the ball so late, man. Come on. Here we go. Hazard. Find Cidinho. This is another big chance. Difficult angle. No, he's dragged it wide. How close was that? Is that going to be a moment we ruin the second leg? Oh, man. It's been so much fun playing in a game like this. This is what we've wanted, you know, from day one. Cidinho playing in games like this. And it's happening now. And he's actually playing well as Jaden Sancho comes on for Jude Bellingham. Let's see what he can do. Okay, that, that's a very interesting skill, but it's actually worked. He gets taken down. How is that not a foul? We still have it, though. Oh, that's a lovely pass for Cirino. He skipped past one, but the other challenge. Oh, not this way. Not on the break. Not on the break. Bernard here could look for a pass inside. Thankfully, he didn't as the attack's gone for you. Eh? We've got to be careful of the breakaway now. Oh, my God. Are we going to concede? Odysseus has made the save. Yep, this time I remembered the guy's name. Isaac was stopped there. I think he was offside anyways. Oh, what a lovely ball for Sancho. Go on, Sancho. This is looking really nice. I'm going to ask for the ball. Far post. What a chance. Header. We get the rebound. Take Fusakubo. Thorgan has out with a bicycle kick. What more do we need to do to make it 2-0? Problems for us now, I presume, as it's Isaac broken through. Is he offside? No, he isn't. Oh, we survived that one. Oh, here we go with Cidinho. Fake shot. Keeping the ball really well. Ah, couldn't waste as much time as I hoped. But it's done. We've, we've beaten Juventus in this first leg. 1-0. That's a very good advantage to take back to Germany. I'm genuinely shook. We've done it with Cidinho scoring. Maybe it's this time now. All you guys trolling him for being... Pretty average in the big games. Now, what are you going to say now, guys, huh? We've scored in this game, and there's a good chance we make it to the quarters. Let's go. Meanwhile, guys, I think I'm going to change my focus to this season for being just Champions League since we've blown away any chance of winning the Bundesliga with these stupid draws. So that's probably going to be the approach. So we're smashing through a lot of games. 5-1 against Schalke. That's, that's a phenomenal result. And next episode, we'll continue our grind in the Champions League. Okay, not too shabby. We're sixth in the Bundesliga. We're making our way back. The league is already won by Bayern, so it's just a fight for that Champions League spot. But for now, that's going to be it for today's episode. As I said, July, I want to try and upload this series every other day. So let's hope we can make that happen. Drop a like on this one if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll catch you guys next time.